What big thing is on the verge of happening? The James Webb Telescope launch. The Queen's gonna die. Has to happen at some point. So weird that Brits in their 60s have been singing God Save the Queen their entire lives, and, once she passes, it's back to God Save the King for the rest of our lifetimes. Indeed the next three in line to the throne are male. Only kings certainly in my lifetime and probably in my daughter's lifetimes too. You might be able to answer this let's say, God forbid, that Charles and William are both killed otherwise pass away before Her Majesty. Would George assume the title of king when she passed, even though Head be a minor? Or is there some sort of system in place to hold the title until Hess older? Edit, I'm aware of Regency. My question could have been phrased better would he be coronated and assume the title immediately is what I should have asked. Thanks for all the in-depth answers, I learned a bit more about English history by asking the wrong question. George would technically be king, although it's customary for someone else named the regent to exercise the king's responsibilities before he comes of age. There are examples of this happening in the past, which I can't be bothered to Google now. Yeah that happens to me all the time in CK2. Widespread antibiotic resistance, edit obligatory rip inbox. Also, flu is a virus, and separate from antibiotic use. Kim Jong-un is meeting the South Koreans in South Korea for the first time ever. He also said that he would be okay with removing his nuclear weapons on the right terms. Don't want to jinx anything but. Lab-grown meats and other foods. Oh yeah, remembered watching this on YouTube they said next year or a couple of years? Not really sure, this meat might be selling at supermarket prices. For now though, it isn't cheap yet. Someone might have mentioned it already, but lots of people are afraid of a massive earthquake that should be hitting the west of Canada and the USA due to the fault becoming stuck for a couple centuries. On the plus side, I'll finally be able to afford a house in Vancouver. I feel like we are going to have a new type of cable company situation going on. One of the things that made Netflix great was you were able to watch so many different shows and movies, but many of those are leaving now. TV companies like CBS and other would rather have their shows on their own paid service app instead of on Netflix where they only get a piece of the cut. Netflix even knows this, which is why they are pushing their original dot content so much. What's going to happen is that if we are to enjoy all the shows we would like to we are going to have to pay for multiple streaming services, basically how it was paying for cable channels. The circle of life eh? Welp. A pirate's life for us eh? I stopped pirating for years because of Netflix then Hulu and on-demand options. The increase in cable prices and the crazy bundle system along with the decline of Netflix and Hulu have turned me back into a pirate. Now the internet is going the way of cable companies with the axing of net neutrality. Pirates will be given no quarter soon. Not sure what I will do in 3 to 5 more years. The death of NN will have as much of an effect on piracy as killing LimeWire did. People adapt. We may see a comeback in Sneakernet, buying flash drives with hundreds thousands of movies from data hoarders, a new protocol to replace peer-to-peer -peer that is virtually indistinguishable from regular internet traffic, or some other creative workaround that is yet to be engineered. I remember, back in the days of Napster and Kazaa, when all the companies started to honeypot files, we'd take new stuff that was released on the scene and rename it to completely randomized file names, it was all scripted. And then there was a directory where the scripts would publish the source file and the randomized file name. Each of the files was also RARD with a junk file to throw off checksums and things of that nature and then you'd just publish the list and it would auto-update as new releases came out. People in the know would just download the junk file names and unrar to get the original files. Life finds a way, man. They can do whatever they want but knowledge and information always finds a way. It wasn't just honeypots, they were doing garbage injections on the good files. And it wasn't that they were being outsmarted by the fakey zipped files, it just wasn't worth the effort. They wanted to thwart the casuals, that made up 99% of the file though sharers out there. Global High Speed Internet ducked my ISP for its bandwidth limit and throttled internet speed. The thing about this is that once you can get high speed internet in the depths of a jungle or out in the Pacific Ocean, it's gonna save a lot of lives and also ruin the murder mystery novel forever. But it will give us a great premise for a reboot of the Gods Must Be Crazy franchise. Think about it, an uncontacted Amazonian tribe comes into possession of a smartphone and they now have access to the entirety of the internet. 
their society begins to collapse once they discover memes, cat videos, and porn. It is up to one brave hunter to venture out into civilization and return the phone in order to restore order to his people. Would watch that 1010. I remember the last time someone made this type of thread someone said like the amount of sexual assault in Hollywood is gonna become a huge controversy, and then the hashtag MeToo movement happened. Really? I'd love to read up on that. Me Too edit, thanks. Astrobiologist here. In 2020 we're launching the Mars 2020 rover. It's the first mission with the primary objective of searching for fossilized life on Mars, collecting the samples, and rocketing them back to Earth for analyzes here. So it's possible that soon we will be studying fossilized Martian bacteria in our research labs. Edit, thanks for all the replies. I will try to answer as many as I can today, more to come after work, looking at 3.5 billion year old fossils today, d. Hopefully, Beetlejuice going supernova. I would love to see that. Would it already have happened? We just wouldn't know? Possibly. It's only 640 light years away, so it may have happened in the past 640 years. I'm sure there's better estimates out there but Wikipedia says it's expected to go supernova in the next million years. That's a really wide window. Like. Narrow window in terms of the universe. Genetically modified humans. Man I would love it if I could get some cheetah genes. I was thinking more like eliminating cancer or curing Huntington's disease, but sure. No reason we can't be disease-free while also running around super fast. Graphene. It is a remarkable material that is 40 times stronger than steel and conducts electricity better than silver or copper. Back in 2008, one square centimeter of the stuff cost $100 million. Now, it costs about $100 and can be made relatively I easily in the lab. This material will be the foundation of modern materials science and will affect everything about modern life. It is an extremely exciting time to be a material scientist at it. I remove the bit about room temperature superconductivity. I misread the original paper, and misunderstood its claim that understanding the properties of graphene superconductors could lead to, to advancements in the field of high temperature superconductivity. I apologize, but even without that feature the material is incredible for its electrical and mechanical properties. Getting the first photo of a black hole event horizon. Earthski.org Till every picture of black holes I've seen has been fake. Also every picture of the Milky Way from the outside. I was not ready for this. Automation. It has been happening for a while, but recent advances in robotics is making it much more affordable and the rate of change adoption is the key factor here. It is putting people out of work more quickly than any job training initiative can transition the workforce into other roles. I'm not personally all gloomy about this because there are tremendous upsides but we will face some hard ethical choices soon. Namely, do the gains from automation only flow through to the owners of businesses or do we institute social programs, such as universal basic income, to ensure that displaced workers have some baseline standard of living? Pretty much every classic rock megastar is going to die within the next 10 years. Paul McCartney, Eric Clapton, Bob Dylan, Mick Jagger, David Gilmore, Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, Pete Townsend, Carlos Santana, Neil Young, Paul Simon. The list goes on and on. Sadly this is almost a 100% certainty. A couple of them might make it past the 10-year mark, but they will be the exception. Except Keith Richards. I'm not convinced he will ever die. I think all the drugs must have shellacked his innards to the point of imperviousness. Or he's always been a robot. Every time you smoke a cigarette, God takes away 10 minutes of your life and gives them to Keith Richards. New treatments for hemophilia. It may not seem like a big thing to the general population but it will turn my world upside down. Not to be a downer, but in the near future one of the Marvel movies will end with dedicated to Stan Lee, the man that started it all. Hopefully not the Hawkeye movie. Civil war in Venezuela or South Africa, quite possibly. Not in Venezuela. The military is solidly in Maduro's pocket. What you're gonna see is widespread starvation and a mass exodus like you saw in Syria. Edit, I know Therese mass exodus already, I was an early part of it. Therese close to 4 mil out, 
two of which have left in the past three years. What I meant is a mass rush to the Colombian border, in the hundreds of thousands, at once. There already is a mass exodus. I live in Peru and you have no idea how many Venezuelans you can now see doing all and any low-skill jobs. Security, baristas, waiters, cooks, cleaning. For an American they're basically becoming what illegal Mexicans are to Americans, but here it is perfectly legal to move from country to country without visa or passport. Only thing that worries me, is that since they are taking many low-skill jobs for any money, since many live in shared places, they are flooding the market a bit and a resentment against Venezuelans is starting to appear, which I hope doesn't keep on growing. Almost all are good and honest people that are just looking for a chance. Edit, yep, I was sure this happened in many other Latin American countries, and I guess Teres the same general feeling in most places. Just hope the regime falls as fast as possible so they can start rebuilding a once amazing country with really great people who have had no chance but to flee. I still don't understand how we Latinos keep electing crazy socialist leaders, soft socialism is fine, but these hardcore ones just don't work, and almost every country here has one or two case studies of that. My friend from Trinidad told me last night that in Trinidad right now there is so much cheap Venezuelan labor that it's cheaper and faster to have a group of guys mix concrete by hand to build a house than it is to order two cement trucks of pre-mixed.